<laughs> Alright, so you can see that I'm reviewing right now. It's MK10299. You know that. You know who I am. And um, so I'm going to review Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's uh, $15 at a GameStop. Um, not really much I can say about it, about other than the retail price is 15 bucks for a GameCube. This is the GameCube version. Um, it's on Xbox, Xbox 360, PS3, and um, PlayStation 2. So, okay, here's your main mode, the career. Um, okay, so you have the option of start a new career, load, or resume. I'm just going to resume. So, these are my cars I created in career mode. Um, these, these, you can only play if these ones in, um, you can play if these ones in career mode and in a race mode. I'll show you race mode in a minute. But I have eight, I have eight of them. Um, you have, I have the flat, I have the Punto, I believe it's called. Uh, the Cobalt, the Chevy Cobalt, um, that's the secret car, that's the final car you get. Um, the Eclipse, the Mustang GT, these are all modified, you can modify the performance and stuff on them, so it's a little interesting to, uh, see what you can create. Um, my Corvette, and, uh, my Ford GT. Alright, so, I'm gonna play with my, uh, Mustang GT. Hang on. So you can resume free mode. I'll show you that. But here, here's where it's all mainly all at. Here's the. Okay, so here's how it goes. You beat all these guys. These are basically the blacklist members. Cause this guy jacked your car. He stole it, and you gotta get it back by getting number one in the blacklist to take him on. So you gotta kill all these pe the not kill but beat all these people in races in order for them to challenge you. You um. You got to you know. You gotta you gotta beat the race wins, which obviously examples. Then there's the milestones where you have to do certain things where you're in a pursuit and then you have to get bounty, which is like your pursuit money. It, it's, it's different than cash, trust me. There's also cash which you used to buy stuff with. And, um, you know, you have, you know, they tell you, they explain it in the first guy. First guy's Sonny. Second guy is Taz. Uh, third person is Vic. Uh, fourth person is Izzy. Uh, eleventh person, Big Lou. Okay. Alright, that's I can't really say more about that. Um uh, Alright, so I'll show you a I'll just do a race for you. There's a whole bunch of race modes too. There's you have the speed trap, which means you just gotta get clocked in a certain amount of speed. Then you have the lab knockout where to finish la last in the lab, you get kicked out. You have the toll booth, which you have to run from area to area real quick in a certain amount of time. Oh, there's the sprint and the circuit. Um, they're pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that the sprints, they are uh, they don't go around in circles. You just go one way around. You don't even come back to that spot in the circuits. You just go around and around for a couple of laps. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to do a, a... Let me see. I don't, don't want to do... I'll show you a pursuit, too. All right. Okay, so here you go. These are, uh, there's a whole bunch of different controls you can decide, too. This is the fifth control option. I like it where A is my accelerator, so it usually comes, I believe, as R is your acceleration, but uh, I'm not sure. But uh, it controls pretty nicely, no matter what you use. I just prefer it like this. Ooh, see, there's traffic. You can even break the cars. There's a lot of shortcuts too, so there's so just because you're losing doesn't mean you can be able to catch up. There's a lot of ways to come back. Other you use nitrous. By the way, nitrous doesn't come stock. You had to modify your car just to let you know that. A lot of people assume that you get nitrous right away. Nope. There's also different levels of nitrous, which is pretty cool. Um, different levels of everything. There's usually there's a let me see, there's Race Pro, Super Pro, and Ultimate. Ultimate has like the best of everything. You have the ability to modify your engine, your transmission, your nitri your nitrous, your um, uh, um your brakes and your turbo and uh, your suspension. And um you know. And there's also your heat level, which if you look by the map you might see a level one. That means like how mad the cops are at you, basically. So in level one, they barely do anything. They send little civics after you, which they don't do much. Then in level two, they do a little bit more work. They start using roadblocks and, and they use undercover civics. There's a civic right, uh, cop right there. Watch this. Let's hit him. And then when you get to level three, I believe um, HSV vehicles chase after you. They use roadblocks. There's basically uh, not much different than a. Uh, 
than um, level 2, just faster cars. And then in level 4, they start using spike strips and the helicopters, and they use undercover um, HSVs. And um, in level 5, they use Corvettes, which uh, they use everything they can at you. They use r r rhino units, they use, uh, you know, whatever they can get their hands on to get you. Alright, so I'm going to shut up to it and let you listen to the gameplay. Yeah, there's also a drift mode, which um, if you see, if you notice, it went to slow. It goes into slow motion for a second. Hit the X button, I believe, in my setup. It might be different depending on what setup you use, but um, it makes it where you can turn, chirp, or basically a drift, and then hit the X button again. And you only, uh, or if you run out of time to drift, you stop drifting basically. So it also helps too when you use the drift mode, like I'm using right now, is when you're about to, when you're um, like in level four or five, you don't want to get hit by a spike strip. So before, before a roadblock, you can hit the Slow mo button, the drift button, you can also go in slow motion like this with the same button. And um and I believe I finished last. Yep. So now I'm in a pursuit. Hey, whoops, let's see. Yeah, you yeah, the that have to turn on the autosave feature, so in case I forget to save or whatever. Alright. Watch this. It's fun you can actually kill the cops. Literally, you can kill them. Not kill them, just bring their car down. Uh, let's see, I just killed this guy. Um, you know. The only thing I don't like about these pursuits is that even though they're extremely fun, there's no way to quit once you get into one. Because usually when you're not in a pursuit, there's a way to jump to your safe house. Because obviously you're a criminal. But when you're in a pursuit, you can't do that. Even right from even from the menu. The only way to get into is if you actually find it, if you actually find it, but it don't show up on your map. So it's really annoying. But other than that, you know, these pursuits are pretty much fun. Um, Alright, so nothing else I can really say about it. But in case you can't tell right now, after I won the race, I'm in free roam now. Which means the cops are after me now, because they caught me in the race. And if I see it, it, makes, it says cool down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. What that does, though, is that as that, heat go, as that meter goes up, they're closing in on me. And if that meter fills up all the way, that with blue, I would I am um, successfully evaded the police, which I just did right now. Alright, so I think I showed you enough of the free roam and the racing. So now I'll show you I'll show you something else. Alright, so here's the main menu. Oh you have the I uh, showed you career, there's a challenge series, which is just a whole bunch of challenges. Quick race and my cars are the options, there's really not much to do with them. So here's my cars I created. These are the I cannot use these in career mode. These are ones I made only for race mode. You can make twenty of them. Up to twenty of them. I you have twenty. Um I'm not going to show you the car customizer, but basically what you do, you can choose a paint job, the anything visual, you can choose your parts, you can use your spoilers, your rims, the color of your rims, um, uh, pretty much everything, you can choose your engine, your transmission, your nitrous shots, or uh, whatever you want to do, but uh, you can, this is how you modify, you can modify them right from here, and I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you the customized thing. So you get the body kit, which see how the body changes. You can get different bodies for each car. Some bodies, some cars have more bodies than others. You have the spoilers, which explain themselves. You have a whole bunch of them. I don't know if you can see that or not. You have the rims and the roof scoops and the hood. Then you have the performance, which is see so like you get the engine, transmission, suspension, tires, brakes, and a turbo and.
couple other things. Visual, but you know, your paint, your rim paint, your vinalis, I believe, vin, wireless, I believe is how you say it, vinalis, um, which is basically your paint, like the same paint job, like see my, that fire thing is my vinalis, or whatever you want to call it. Rim paint, which I painted mine red, window tint, decals, your numbers, and of course your custom gauges, which when you're racing can make your gauge look awesome. So that's all there really is to the car customizer. There's a lot you can do with it, and it's really easy to use. Quick race. All right, so the custom race. It's what I usually like to use. So you can select what mode you want. I'll, I'll do. A, I'll do another sprint. Um, you can select your traffic level. I like mine high. Opponents. You can have up to three opponents. Uh, put my difficulty on hard. Catch up off. So here's your cars. Then you have the career cars. Then you have the stock cars. Then you have the bonus cars, which you unlock doing certain things. I'll show you a bonus car. The Corvette C6. Wait, whoops, not that one. The Corvette C6 point R, which uh, has nitrous and stuff in it. I wish you could modify cars like these, though, because this car you can't change at all, which I would like to see what this thing has in it. Because it's a pretty... I'll show you this one. So here you go. Here's a just a normal race. Not in career mode, there's, so th so there's no cops unless you're in career mode, which sucks. And see, I'm using nitrous right now because my rear lights are on. They bright up light like that, they leave laser trails behind, you're using nitrous. Yeah, um, you know, it's pretty fun, you know, you can have some, you can have up to four people playing a few, three three extra people playing a few. I wish you could have eight racers like you did have in Hot Pursuit. Um, I, I think Hot Pursuit's a little better than this game is, and I'm, I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate mail saying, you're crazy, and, you know, all that stuff, but, you know, come on, people. I, I like the more simulator type of games. This isn't, this isn't so much a simulator, if you ask me. Um... Doesn't feel as realistic as Hot Pursuit did. This one's also not as detailed to um the car's info as other one was. Like in this one, you just have like like lines, and the more the, the more the lines filled, the more um acceleration or whatever you're looking at it has. But with a Hot Pursuit, you could. Click on the showcase and it'll tell you the exact speed, the exact acceleration, zero to sixty miles an hour, the BHP, and all that other good stuff. But uh, but um, you know, other than that, these two games are pretty close to each other, uh, and as well as uh, how good they are. All right, so as you can see here, it's one race. And I, if my top speed is 157 miles an hour. Hmm. Well, then you have the two-player mode, and there's a quick play which randomly picks a car and a track for you in mode. Well, is there anything else I can say about this game? Um, no, not really. But um, I do recommend it. Next review is going to be uh, Need for Speed Carbon. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. MK11299 is out.